The future is in our hands. We can make a difference. It's, It's up, up to us. us. The Lapalala Wilderness School project was started in 1985. The hope was to awaken an interest in conservation in these young people by giving them a chance to experience nature at close quarters. A first for many of them. To date, more than 50,000 youngsters have passed through programs at Lapalala. Clive Walker said investment in environmental education is an investment in an environmentally sound future. Over the past 30 years, I've run into so many people and they come up to me and they say, it changed my life, that experience was phenomenal. And, you, and many of them are actually in the field of conservation today. When I came to La Palala, I was doing grade 10. We, we learned a lot here and from that day, I realized that I really need to do a lot for, this, for, for the nature. That's why I did this. I made sure that I have to come back here and work with the community school and teach kids like they taught me. So maybe I'll, I'll give them the passion. So we're off to a good start. We've handed in all our cell phones, iPods and electronics so we can really get in touch with nature and connect. Our first challenge was the obstacle course. This obstacle course was tough. And I think just like saving the environment and trying to make the place you're living in a better place, it's tough at times, but I mean, at the end, it's all worth it. And you get this exhilarating feeling of accomplishment once you've done it. I learned about a, a teamwork so that we can help other people to achieve, to achieve something. The program is designed to instill knowledge through experience. One of the activities was a recycling game where we had a race to put our knowledge of the recycling symbols on plastic containers to the test. We also learned how to test the quality of water. We cannot survive without water because we use, uh, we use water in different many ways. I'm gonna uh, share this information with other people. Our interpretive walk was filled with fascinating information and a couple of adrenaline moments. On our way up here, we saw a leopard squirt and apparently there was a baby one as well. If you consider that from the point of view of a person's soul, being able to relate the environment to especially young people, they carry that for the rest of their life. One only has to look at the, uh, the schools from the community that have risen up so wonderfully as far as the eco schools are concerned. Yes. Looking at the eco school program, né? this is a, um, uh, this program is a curriculum based program. The, the main objective is to instill both environmental and conservation values into these learners so that when they come back into their place or their communities, then they can apply those values. You know, Clive and Anthony and his staff You've only got to see them teaching. They're passionate about what they do. They're passionate about what they believe in. And if you can pass that on to young children and get them to become passionate about environmental conservation, then I think we will have succeeded. Go outside and plant a tree. Love trees, they are lifesaver. Oxygen we get from the trees. The clock is ticking. Tick tock, save that tree, save the world. Um, the most rewarding part of my job is to really Uh, make an impact amongst the young people that comes in into La Palala Wilderness School to really share and try and transfer that passion, enthusiasm for the environment towards most of the young people. Looking at the mess in the environment and trying to change the perceptions of the individuals. They're able to actually go down into those areas that were denied for so long. Mm. Any opportunity of just experiencing nature I think given the current environmental situation worldwide, any action that individuals can do has a far-reaching impact on the bigger picture. The, the kids from my village, they do come to La Palala. So you get there and you see them collecting papers from the street. That, that's what we teach them here. And they'll tell you, no, don't kill that because it's very important to our nature. We enjoy it when we, they teach us about the indigenous trees and the alien trees. We know how to care for our environment. I inspired the love that to care for the environment from La Palala to the Lena. And the Lena instilled the love of the environment to the parents. At La Palala we learn many things to save water and to save electricity, to make vegetable garden and flower garden. The facilitators and educators shared some of their concerns about the youth with us. 
which despite the amazing work that they are doing, present very real challenges. The issue of lack of mentorship and role models, uh, because most of the young people don't have people that they can look up to. Uh, the abuse of star substances, and I think my main concerns now are respect and their drive for life and the wrong role models. Uh, my parents instilled uh, the love for nature and the love for animals and the appreciation from a very young age. And I think that plays a role because from then you are driven or herded in the right direction to love and preserve the environment. In most cases, learners are staying alone at home. Parents are working far away from home. And uh, many learners are orphans. Most of our learners in, in, engage themselves in, in drug abuse. Our learners need to value education. Mm -hmm. It's hard to expect a person who does not value education to get educated. Our producer of It's Up To Us caught up with Dr. Jane Goodall to hear what her thoughts are on the youth of today. One of the things that was highlighted is that there is a lack of mentors for our youth. And I think that that is something that we really need to create more of, is mentors for the youth to look up to as ambassadors for the environment, where they become the heroes. Um, as you say, there is a real need for people to, who, who are living or trying to live reasonably decent lives, you know, to become uh, a role model for young people and it's very obvious that what young people kind of gravitate to is somebody who's real, somebody who actually walks the talk and they see it quickly. And if you had to give a message to the youth of South Africa, what would it be? It's understanding that they can make a difference. That's what it is, that our lives do matter, uh, we have got a role to play and we have a choice. Uh, what kind of difference are we going to make today? All these little things which add up and, you know, move us into what humanity should be aspiring to be. Most important thing, in my eyes, getting children to understand that they have an important role to play in conserving our natural resources. The future lies not with people of my generation, but with the youth who are coming through. And that's what Lapalada Wilderness School can do. Our natural resources has gone to dogs. Look up, look down, look around, look at yourselves. You are to blame. The land has wrinkled like the old mama. I personally believe that uh, with the experience that Lopalala has had over the past 30 years, there's a marvelous opportunity to take it beyond the boundaries of this reserve, it's to get to a broader cross-section of the South African youth. This is one of the most profound weeks that I've had the privilege to attend. And I think the kids really appreciate all the knowledge that they've picked up and they've learned. But ultimately, the facilitators who have imparted such important knowledge onto all of us are just wonderful. They are really true heroes for these children. The most important thing is that these skills that we've picked up here are used in the communities to help the environment because it's up to us.